guys, so today, I'll teach you one of the basic and useful mechanics that you can use with command blocks, which is the hit detection mechanic. It's just based on my solo leveling video, I found out that there's still a lot of people who are not familiar with hit detection mechanic. But don't worry, on this video, I will show you how easy it is to use a hit detection mechanic for your command creation. Here, I have prepared two sets of example that I will going to show to you to understand how this hit detection works. So yeah, without further ado, let's get into it. So for this first set of example, we will utilize the durability of a sword. For this one, it will go into say player name hit an entity whenever we hit an entity. Let me show you. Here, you can see the text display whenever I hit an entity. So this first command block will detect if we have a damaged sword in our hand, and if we did then it will going to run the command which will go into display a text player name hit an entity to all players. This part is the only important for the hit detection mechanic. The rest is customizable depending on what you need. You can also replace the weapon here if you want to change it into a different sword or other tools. Now this command will simply replace the damaged sword in the player's hand with a new sword. So yeah, that's how easy to make hit detection mechanic using sword. But take note, this hit detection mechanic will only work for players that are in survival or adventure mode. Now on to the next example. Instead of displaying a text, this one will make the sword to produce a particle effect. See that particle? Now let's check the commands. Here you can see that I didn't change the important part. The only thing I changed is this part. You can modify this particle to whatever particle you want to use. The second command is just the same as the previous second command. For the third example, this one will apply slowness effect to the entity that the player hit. Now for the commands. It is kind of similar to the previous example. The only difference is the command after the run part. Anyways, here you can modify the effect that you want to apply to the entity that you hit. This one is just a copy of the second command. Now, I just want to let you know that you can put multiple commands that will be activated when you hit an entity. So basically, this one is a combination of the previous examples. This one is just the same as the first example. This one is the exact command of the second example. This one is the same as the third example. And for the last command, it's just the same as the second command from the examples. In order to put multiple commands that will be activated using sword hit detection, you just need to remember to always put this command at the end of the chain command tower. Alright, now for the next set of examples. 
we will be utilizing the durability of an armor. So if you don't want to use sword or any weapon that has durability, then you can use armor as well for hit detection. Starting up with this one, this will display a text damage detected for entity name whenever an entity took damage. So for the commands, this first command is the same for all of these repeating command blocks. This will simply equip an entity with a leather armor if they don't have one. And this will display a text damage detected for entity name whenever an entity took damage. This is the important part on detecting the damaged armor. And if you've noticed, it's very similar to the one we used on the sword hit examples. This command will simply replace the damaged leather armor of an entity with a brand new leather armor. Alright now for the next example. Whenever an entity took damage, they will gain regeneration effect for 3 seconds. So for the commands, since the first command is the same as the previous first command, let's proceed to the second command already. This command will give regeneration effect to entity that has damaged leather helmet. And this third command is the same as the third command from the previous example. Now for this next one. This will knock back all entities near the entity that got hit. You see, whenever he hit me, he got knocked back. Same goes for me. Whenever I hit the husk, I got knocked back. Now for the commands. Let's just skip to the second command as well. This command will teleport all entities to five blocks away from their location if they are near to an entity that has damaged leather helmet. The third command is still the same. All right, now for the last example, a combination of all of the previous examples for armor detection. So basically this is just a copy-paste from the previous commands. The first command is just the same as the previous ones. This one is from the text display example. And this one is from the regeneration effect example. This one is from the knockback example. And always remember to put this replace item command as the last command for this hit detection mechanic featuring armor. So yeah, that's how easy you can make a hit detection using sword's durability or armor's durability. I hope you learned something from this video. And if you did, then why not leaving it a like? And before I end this video, special mention to all of my channel members who are continuously giving an extra support on this channel. May all of you will have a wonderful day. God bless you. And bye.